This is Radar from the Radar Table Law coming at you with another edition of MLB Observations Week 26 of the 2023 season. After today's video, there's just one regular season weekend left before the start of the wild card round for baseball. Usually this video is recorded in the afternoon, but unsure how much time I'm going to have, so I'm going to do this now, right here in the morning. The only issue is last night's Mets-Marlins game Massive rain delay in the ninth inning, and the Marlins are still trying to make the playoff. And I just know why they just don't call the game. The Marlins are winning 2-1. to one. Give them the win. The Mets are out of contention. Who cares? And you're talking to a guy whose second favorite team is the Mets. Like, just call the game. Now then, let's get to the observation. Dodgers. The whole point of having the trade of Ahmed Rosario and Kiki Hernandez and getting Miguel Rojas in the offseason and having Chris Taylor on your roster is that you don't have to play Mookie Betts in the infield. As your best asset, you got to leave him alone. But they continue to still play him at second base. He played right field once, and they continue to bat him leadoff, which is fine if Freddie Freeman was batting the middle of the lineup, but not second, and Will Smith third. Ahmed Rosario, I said he's a good offensive player, but he's not a four or five hitter. And he's played some second base this week, but again, he's not a shortstop. Okay? I had the opposite listed here. Chris Taylor, again, utility players don't bat in the middle of the lineup. They had him play some infield. They had him play some outfield. But again, center field is kind of a stretch. Then they use an opener because apparently they don't have enough starting pitching. And then Altman, Altman, he's having a nice rookie season. And Rojas is a good defensive shortstop. But none of those guys should be batting five through six. Keegan Hernandez, you brought him in to play second base, shortstop, third base, and the occasional outfield, not first base. Colton Wong, when he got a start this week, he let off, which is good. Ryan Yarborough, actually... Started a game instead of pitching out of the bullpen. And Miguel Rojas, the shortstop, pitched in a blowout. Giants, Austin Slater is supposed to be a good bat in the middle of the lineup. So why are you still leading him off when he doesn't have any leadoff capabilities and he's not a center fielder, he's not a great outfielder? Yes, again, good outfielder makes contact, not a cleanup hitter. So batting him one and two makes way more sense. Manaya actually started a few games because this whole pitching out of the bullpen is stupid when you have Alex Wood, Jacob Junis, and Ross Stripling just all pitching out of the bullpen. It absolutely makes no sense there, okay? And then Lamonte Wade leading off makes sense with his speed, but again, not a first baseman. He's an actual center fielder. Blake Sable actually catching instead of playing the outfield makes sense. Matos is like their fifth or sixth string outfielder. I would not want him third. Fitzgerald, I was like, cool, this guy's a center fielder. Let me see it. Then I look in the box score one day and he played third base. And I'm like, wait, is he an outfielder? What is he? He's a shortstop. So, okay, I don't know what they're doing with him. Padres, I told you I like the Kim leading off and Tati second because Soto was batting third. What I don't like is they put Bogarts in the leadoff spot. That dude is slow-footed and strikes out a lot. Like, that's not a leadoff hitter. He's a middle lineup hitter. Kim has no biz batting six. Christian has no biz batting seventh. He's a glove first player. Tatis, again, he's a good offensive player, but second has been good for him, not clean up. Wasting Richel out of the bullpen when he traded him to be a starter. And Jerkson Profar, I know he played outfield for you, but again, he's not an outfielder by trade, and he's certainly on a first baseman. Excuse me. And then Nick Martinez has been great out of the bullpen for them, so why are they using him as a starter? Cardinals, Lars Utbar, I'm okay with him leading off sometimes, but I liked when he batted fifth, and Tommy Evans batting leadoff for second, and Goldsmith's batting third. But then they're like, nah, we'll put Goldsmith second. Now they shut him down. I don't want Jordan Walker batting second because he's one of the only bats they have. Yep, is good. DH him because he's not a good position player, especially if you put him in the outfield. And Lee Bator is supposed to be part of this rotation going forward. Why is he pitching a bullpen? And then what I noticed was when you bat a large new part leadoff, after Jordan Walker and maybe Yepes, there's no anybody in the lineup scares you because obviously they shut down Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldsmith, Dylan Carlson. I haven't seen Tyler O'Neill or Wilson Contreras because the Cardinals have been horrible this year. It makes sense. But you would want Lars Zupar and Jordan Walker in the middle of the lineup so it's somewhat respectable. You're not just giving up. And Ryan Noda is a slugger. Should not be batting leading off. Kelloff batting second is where he should be. He's a great number two hitter. And Rooker and Brown in the middle of the lineup is great. What's not great is Tony Kemp batting fifth when he's got no power. And he's on an outfit. He's got no arm. You know, they have Esteban Ruiz lead off, which is what he was doing at the beginning of the season because he's one of the league leaders in stolen bases. Lesmi Diaz get to play the infield because he's actually an infielder. Don't play him in the outfield. And then Carl Spreger, third string catcher, has always batting seventh. Tiger, I don't care if Matt Vierling's leading off or batting second. Play the dude in the outfield. He's not a third baseman. And guess what? They played him once third base. Abanias is a great utility man, so utility players don't bat fifth. Second, maybe. And again, he's not an outfielder. I like Torkelson and Miggy in the middle of the lineup because Miggy's come up 
better than he has at the beginning of the season when he's batting seventh all the way. Carpenter, again, you don't have a third baseman because literally just said you were playing Veerling third base and he's not really a third baseman, okay? He's more of an outfielder. Carpenter's not an outfielder. He's a third baseman. Nevin played some first base, some third base, and DH. Good. No outfield for him. McKintree leading off is good because he's got speed and content, but again, not an outfielder. Parker Meadows leading off one day, then batting ninth, whatever. That's where the guys that have speed and contact go. And Baez batting eighth reputation is way too low. Twins. I like what Solano plays second base or third base, but again, him batting third is way too high in the lineup. Him playing first base or not for base is silly. And Polanco, we figured out his perfect spot is fifth. Not him batting second. And then DHing him is fine if you want to get Julian in the lineup because Julian also plays second base, but you also don't know where to play Royce Lewis because you have so many infielders. Cool occasionally, but again, he's not a third baseman. If you were a third baseman, you would have put them last year. You would have kept the reigning National American League batting title champ, Luis Arise. No, if you trade him because you you want to keep Polanco. Willie Castro, again, middle infielder by trade, so he had to play some third base, but again, throwing him back in center field. Him and also, he's not a middle lineup hitter. Kyle Farmer's not a middle lineup hitter, and he's certainly not a shortstop. He's a catcher by trade. Julian, again, leading off is cool, but three through seven and DHing him is stupid. He's a contact guy. And Stevenson leading off, speed and context, fine. Jordan Luplo is one of your outfielders. There's no business he's playing first base. Michael A. Taylor is your gold glove center fielder. He's not a DH, and he's not a fifth hitter. And Chris Paddock and Dallas Keuchel and Kent to Maeda pitching a bullpen. They're like, you know, we made the playoff, so Maeda is going to just continue to pitch out a bullpen. Like, I would much rather have a rotation in the postseason that is Sonny Gray, Pablo Lopez, and Kent to Maeda. I can trust those guys. I'd rather have Dallas Keuchel also as the fourth guy, but they're going to go with Joe Ryan. That's totally fine. Angels, the Sean L. dude is a first baseman. I don't think lead off, first basemans are not leadoff hitter. Joe Adele playing center field is interesting because if he could play center field, he would have done it most of the year, but they only recently brought him back up because of all the injuries. And Jarrett Walsh, again, he and Cabbage are first basemen. Stop playing on the outfield. They use an opener because apparently they don't have enough starting pitching. Tiny's injured, blah, blah. Gritchick is not a leadoff hitter. He should be middle of the lineup. And then again, Brandon Dury playing first base. He was playing a lot of second. It's really dumb to ask Brandon Dury, who's a man of many positions, to play first base. When you look at box scores and you see that Jared Walsh and Cabbage, who are first basemen, are playing the outfield. It's like, there's no Otani. You can DH one of those two, and the other guy can play first base. And Brandon Dury can go out there and play third base, second base, short base, or outfield because he's done that. Whatever. And then Houston, Altuve leading off. We've been over these. He's the perfect leadoff hitter. Pena batting second and Bregman fourth is great. But then when they put Bregman second, it's like, oh, come on. You know, Dubone playing a lot of center field because he's been on a street. But, like, again, he is not a center fielder. He's a middle infielder by trade. And Chas McCormick's had a great season, so I don't know why he's not getting more bats in center field. But, again, six is a little too high for him. He's also not – don't DH him. You could DH Alvarez and Abreu and Brantley, okay? And then they lost the DH maneuvering. And Eric Kitty pitched out a bullpen even though he's supposed to be a starter. And I like that Michael Brantley's batting sixth or seventh. Royals. Mikhail Garcia leading off when he's in the middle line at the beginning of the year is just weird. Bo, uh, you know, Bobby Wood Jr. second is great. Velasquez and Oliviaris are good defensive outfielders. They're not middle lineup hitters on not 90 something percent of the teams in the league, and they're not DHs. Melendez is not a leadoff hitter. He should be in the middle lineup. He's one of their better bats. Again, he's a catcher by trip on the outfield. you got to be stuck with it. He's just a bad outfielder. Oliviaris led off once, which I thought was cool. Prado batting eighth and way too low. He's one of the power hitters. And Lofton, what are you? you playing first base, second base? I have no idea. And then Salvador Perez playing first base. Just DH him if you don't want to catch him. And then they used an opener. Okay, and then... I don't know what happened here. I have a number eight where the Texas Rangers are, but that's weird. So Simeon and Seager, I'm tired of them as a one-two combination. Especially if Seager could be the middle lineup and drive more runs. Simeon's fine at the top line if he's got speed. Andrew Heaney and Martin Perez pitching out of the bullpen is a waste. Because when the playoff comes, you're going to be like, okay, cool. He of all these had three Tommy John surgeries. Jordan Montgomery, who we got from in a trade, and Jonathan Gray, who's up and down. Like, that's my top three, and then you're going to go Dane Dunning four. Like, I don't know if that's a playoff rotation. And then Josh Smith, we already not a shortstop. He's a third baseman, and Ziegler Durant. What is he, an outfielder or an infielder? Like, what's going on there? That's the thing. Mariners, the JP and Julio, one and two has been great. Any combination of Cal, Hernandez, Suarez, France. But when you bat France eighth, it's just stupid. Kalenic is not a consistent enough offense player, and he was injured this year to bat fifth or sixth. Roas, I was like, I don't want him playing second baseman. He's a third baseman, but again, Mariners will have a clear second baseman. Give this dude some at-bats because he's got a bat. Dylan Moore should be getting at-bats to second base. So should Haggerty. Stop DHing them or playing them in the outfield. They're better in the lineup. They should be at the bottom. Angel, uh, Cleveland, 
Jose Ramirez, ever since that suspension, is batting second. You want him in the middle of the lineup with Josh Naylor. That makes no sense. Jimenez, perfectly suited to be in the two spot, not fifth. Fry, a catcher, is actually catching. Loriano's a glove first player, so he should be in the middle of the lineup. Calhoun's a good outfielder. He's nobody's playing first base, but they got don't have enough room in the outfield, okay? Oh, it's the Gunner leading off, and at least second, I've been over this. Like, a dude should be both in the middle of the lineup, and Gunner, if he's good enough to play shortstop, why is he playing at full time? Not playing at full time. O'Hearn, first base, DH. Bat in the middle lineup, that's where he belongs. Hicks, Hayes, and Molin do not be, don't make any sense batting fourth or fifth or sixth. They're not power hitters. Hayes did lead off a few times. Urias batting seven is way too high. Like, again, he's not an everyday player. Yankees, I don't understand the judge batting second and DJ LeMayu batting leadoff or Glaber Torres batting second someday. When the rest of your lineup is a rookie catcher in Wells, Volpe, a rookie shortstop, Cabrera, and Peraza and all these other guys that you called up recently that are rookies playing the infield and they're playing the outfield. And that's the rest of your lineup. Like, that's not a scary lineup, okay? So at least one or two times, Bowers was bad in the middle of the lineup and playing first base. But again, he's not a D, he's not an outfielder. And Jesus Mayo's not a leadoff hitter or a first baseman. He's a two-hitter and a second baseman. And IKF is not an outfielder, let alone a center fielder. He's a catcher by trade. Okay, and staying in bat and cleanup makes a lot of sense because that's where he should be. And again, Glaber Torres, I'd rather him bats fifth or sixth, but if he's at least batting third, he'll at least get someone with some reputation. And Florio batting leadoff makes sense. Car- Corbin Carroll and, and Catal Marte batting one and two has been good for Arizona. Tommy Pham, I think three is way too high for him. And Alec Tom's a glove for his player. Like, the guy's from Chicago, I like him, but he's not a five-hitter. And Gabby Moreno, a young catcher, he should be batting leadoff for a second. He should be at the bottom of the lineup. And Emmanuel Rivera batting the bottom of the lineup makes sense. And they used an opener because, again, they just got, they just say goodbye to Kyle D- like Davies, um, uh, whatever his name is. It was just like, you got rid of your veteran number three starter. Like, I just don't understand why you designated him for assignment. That makes makes no sense, but whatever. And then the National, CJ Thomas, CJ Abrams, and Lane Thomas, one and two, makes sense speed in contact. Keep our Ruiz, he's a franchise catcher, but he's not a middle of the lineup hitter batting three through six. And Luis Garcia lost a second base job for some of the seasons, and he's not a power hitter, so he should not be batting fifth. Ilmar Vargas is a super utility guy, journeyman, not a sixth hitter. And Alou is an infielder who started the year as an infielder. Why are you playing in the outfield? Atlanta, I'm okay with Kuna leading off because Albie's a second and Olsen's been fourth. But then one day Albie's batted third and then they had Harris batted sixth or seventh and then second. Like keep people where they are. And Rosario all the way eighth is way too low. But again, Kuna playing right field the past two seasons or three seasons, I've been right. Like that's where he should be because he's going to win MVP. Philly. The cost over leading off is done when Stott's batting fifth. Like, come on. Like, they, you got to figure out what you're doing there. At least Trey Turner batting second makes sense. And one time, they had stopped batting leadoff, which is cool. Bryce Harper's still playing first base when he's a great outfielder. Again, injury. Strom and Lorenz and both pitch had a bullpen when they started games for them this year. And the Sosa batting seventh way too high. He did bat second one day. Then I had, like, where it's like, I think I wrote it twice. Like, him and Marsh batting way too high in the lineup when they're glove first players. The Mets with Lindor batting second. No, he's either a three or four hitter because he can hit 30 plus home runs and then driving 100 probably. McNeil batting leadoff one day and batting third. Like, just put him in the two spot the whole season. At least when they put Mar- the Marcunio, the rookie, second, that makes sense. Fifth does not. Jeff McNeil, again, playing the outfield. He's made some highlight plays and sometimes he's made some bad plays. But center field is a way too much of a stretch for this guy. Okay, Miami, a rise leading off is better than him batting third, but he's the perfect two hitter. So, Lair batting leadoff or second is stupid. That's to do the slugger. It's just like, okay, he can hit 30, 40 home runs, and he's only going to get like 20 RBIs out of that, let's say. I mean, like 30, 40 RBIs out of that because he's just driving in himself. Jacob Stallings, the starting catcher, pitching in a blowout again. They, they lost to DH maneuvering. I wrote that twice. Chad Chisholm batting fourth and playing center field. No. He's a table setter at the top of the lineup. Wendell, again, not a shortstop, second base, third base, and he should not be playing shortstop. Jared Hampson is not an outfielder. He's an infielder. They, again, use an opener, and Cueto pitch on a bullpen when they pay him this money to start. Josh Bell, they got him to be in the middle of the lineup, not to bat second. De La Cruz batting cleanup and Birdie batting fifth. That's what happens when you don't put Soler and you don't put Bell in the middle of the lineup with Jake Berger. Like, that's what they should be. And then Birdie's on an outfielder. He's an infielder. And they, again, list the loss of DH maneuvering. Brewer, the whole yellow Contreras is stupid when they should be in the middle of the lineup. I like when Santana and Cannon are batting in the middle of the lineup. But, again, Cannon's on a right field. It's a stretch. And Brian Anderson, not an outfielder. There was a couple weeks stretch when he was healthy that he was playing really well as a third baseman bat- batting fifth, sixth, or seventh. Like, I don't know. Now the DFA'd him. Roddy Telez, my guy pitching a block, which is just funny to say. Chris, 
you know, Willie Adams batting fifth when he should be batting second or even seventh. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Julio Tehran pitching on a bullpen. Kyle Ray pitching on a bullpen. Like, those are arms you can use to start. Sal Freelick has bad lead up a few times, which I did like, and then he batted fifth. But then there was a day where Tyrone Taylor and a bunch of nobody batted in the middle of the lineup. But I'm like, that's when you move Contreras and Sal Freelick to the middle, even though I don't want Freelick always in the middle. But you want guys with names. And then Anderson on that day batted eighth. I'm like, that's way too low. Makes no sense. Rates. Deion Diaz leading off when he could drive in a lot of runs should be fixed. He should be middle lineup. Randy Ozarena is your middle lineup hitter, not a two hitter. Harold Ramirez, again, he's not a two hitter, nor is he a middle of the lineup hitter, or is he a DH. I like that they've been playing in the outfield because they've had injuries in the outfield. That's what he is. Paredes is your slugging third baseman. Not your first baseman, not your second baseman. Okay, you got plenty of middle infielders to play second base. Aranda is a middle infielder. Like I'm just saying, he should not be DHing. Him leading off with Caminero, the rookie, cool. Basabe, the, the youngster, is not an outfielder. Stop wasting time with him there. Blue Jay. Springer leading off. He's been doing that for a while. But then when there's a period of time he's been in the middle of the lineup, I thought it was great. And again, he's playing right field, which is where he belongs. Boba Shep batting seconds where he belongs. But cleanup, not. Nah. And Biggio, not a cleanup hitter either. He's a speed contact guy. And I know you have plenty of second baseman, but he's not a first baseman in outfield. And Whit Merrifield's not an outfielder, nor is he in the middle of the lineup. And Adalto Varshall is not a center fielder. He's a catcher. He's lucky enough that he plays a good corner outfield. And then Belt is back from injury, but where do you think they put him second where he does not belong? He's a middle lineup hitter. Reds, the India, when you come back from the injury with Ferdell, one and two, makes sense. Speed and contact. Spencer Stewart in the middle lineup will always make sense. Him playing first base or third base makes sense, but not the outfield. Senzel batting second and playing third base makes sense, but again, he's more experienced in the outfield, so I'd rather him than Steer. Cruz, man, he went from the middle lineup and lead off to batting eighth or ninth. I don't know what's going on there. Fraley. It's come up clutch for them, but I wouldn't DH him or play him fourth. I'd actually play him in the outfield, play real outfielders in the outfield. And Canestio Strand, if he's supposed to be taking a bats away from Steer at first base, then why are you playing him at third base? They lost the ditch maneuver in Pittsburgh. Connor Joe playing first base, great. But leading him off or playing him in the outfield when he's got no speed and he's not an outfielder, stupid. Ryan Reynolds second playing left field is great. Hayes batting third is great. And Duar, stop playing him and Davis in the outfield. One's an infielder, one's a catcher. They use an opener because they don't have enough starting pitchers. So Winsky, choppy middle lineup. That's where Connor Joe should be. He should be like six or seven, but not like three and four. And then Bay playing second base because that's that should be their second baseman going forward. And Trulio batting leadoff is stupid. He's not enough speed. Cubs, Nico Horner, second half, sec, a third. That's where they should be all season. Bellinger going back and forth between first base and center field because they can't they can't just keep him at first base. Swanson batting fifth and sixth when he should be batting second. Smiley wasting time out of the bullpen when he should start. Morell DH him because there's nowhere to put him, but at least leading off is fine. Wisdom. Playing first base and third base when the whole point is Candelario was acquired to play third base, so Wilson played first base, but then Candelario's out there playing first base. Colorado, Blackman leading off and Rogers batting second or Tovar batting one or second. Those make sense. What doesn't make sense is Tovar seventh and Rogers fourth. They're not power hitters. Nolan Jones is a power hitter. He should not be batting second, but again, he's not an outfielder. Chris Bryant, they started him at first base or DH. He's batting middle lineup. That makes sense. There, Diaz, I know he made the all-star team, but again, those slim pickings a catcher this year and he had a career year. But I, on most teams, he's not in the lineup hitter. Like, what are you doing? Red Sox. I like Rafael and Abreu leading off because they're speedy guys. But what are they? Are they infielders or outfielders? Because I've seen Rafael play second base also. Devers is a power middle lineup hitter. It's been dumb that he's been batting second. Duval batting four, fifth, or sixth. That's where he belongs. But again, not a center fielder. He's a right fielder. Verdugo, again, leading off a lot this year. Second, fourth. Like, I feel like second is better than leadoff, and I feel like fifth and sixth is better than fourth. And then again, this Abreu guy I wrote batting sixth. Just keep him at the top of the bottom. Paulo Reyes is a utility man. I don't want him seventh. And he's not a first base, but he's a shortstop. And Delbach played third base one day this week because that's his actual position. And then finally, the White Sox. Tim Anderson and Benatendi one and two. Anderson's had a career low year. Benatendi's not having a great year. But they're speed and contact guys. Not Yo Moncada, but he has more speed as a two-hitter than Vaughn does. But still, you want Yo-Yo's RBIs in the middle of the lineup. Andrews bet a leadoff one day, which was cool. But again, him and Trace Thompson batting six seven is way too high. For glove first player. Red Millard's an infielder like Sheets. Stop playing them in the outfield. Leon Sosa batting seven is kind of way too high. He hasn't really proven himself, so like eighth would be fine for me. Or even second. But again, he's playing some third base. We gave Makata the day off. That's fine. Elvis, I wrote this twice, bad a leadoff. That's what he should be doing when they don't play Tim Anderson. And Carlos Perez, technically, if you go Grandal, Zavala, Carlos Perez, and Corey Lee, he's either third or the fourth string catcher. So six is way too high. But again, thanks for listening to others. Some MLB observations week. 26 of the of the of the 2023 season for another table block I'm right here see you guys next time